something's wrong with these things. Alibaba's down. Amazon is down. Uh, Netflix is down. Uh, NVIDIA barely held on, which is amazing. Barely held on. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, giving everybody happy Monday. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Hope everybody had a great uh, trading session. Uh, just an, an insane market right now. We are uh, basically, the, the, the players are changing. The symbols are changing, but the sentiment is still the same. Uh, the SPAC names, right? Same theory. The SPAC names, the energy names, the EV names, the, the, you know, the Bitcoin names. They're just all going out of control. Uh, these energy names, these uh, alternative fuel cell names, anything to do with energy is having incredibly big runs today. And, and again, they just change the symbols over and over again. Even, even the crap that I was in, I'm still in, I still have a runner. Uh, I was long this NBAC, I bought it Friday, right? We talked about this on the video. I bought this thing Friday. Um, I'm down to a runner, right? Uh, my, la my, my second to last sale was at $11, uh, like 15 cents, 18 cents, whatever it was. This thing is right now trading 11.70 after the close and again it's just insane right now uh you look at stocks like dpw i mean this is the dog crap of the dog crap i mean look at these moves just one after another after another of these little stocks oeg i mean put it this way if this is your market right and this is not mine right I, i'm playing with it just because it's the whole theory of when in rome right you know, I'm playing with these things and I'm trying to catch, you know, I'm, I'm definitely trying to catch a wave on these things. But if this is your market, you, you have to capitalize on this because, again, this is a market you're not going to see in 2021 for the for the vast part of the market. It's just not. You'll get a, you know, you'll get a stock here and there, here and there, but you're not going to have a predominant market that speculation money is so aggressive, right? It, it's so out of control that you could literally chase anything. And that's exactly what this market is. You're literally chasing anything in sight. And because the hotness, right? The hotness factor of this market, you're getting rewarded. Like look at this D DPW, right? DPW closed at 719, okay? L look where the stock, the stock's at $9. It's, it's, it's not even five o'clock Eastern time. So incredible amount of strength in these things. And if this is your market, Again, try to capitalize as much as possible. Do, you know, don't pay attention to the ones that put up the five dollar move. You know, try to do what you know, kind of I did. You know, stocks that nobody's looking at, like this NBAC. That you know, you're saying to yourself, it's in the group. Let me take a shot. I have a twenty cent risk and see what happens. Even the name like uh, HCAC, which I forgot to buy. You know, I forgot. I was talking about this eleven dollars. Uh, for the last few days. I forgot to buy this one. Look what it did today as well. It traded up to uh, like 11.56. So the ones that are just going nuts, those are great, right? Those are fantastic. Uh, but the, but those are the most dangerous. That's where retail is driven. That's where the fear of missing out is driven. That's where the biggest emotional um, you know, plays are, the crowded trades. And those are the trades that eventually, you know, the, the, the whole, the whole uh, you know, uh, musical chairs game eventually is going to end. So if, if, you know, if you are trading these things, please be careful. Pay attention to only the ones that are just finally coming out of the channels. You might not get the biggest move in them, but your money is safe because, again, you are looking at a predefined level from a technical point of view instead of jumping uh, because the whole rest of the group is going. So uh, absolutely craziness going on in the market. Uh, again, short week. Uh, we, we probably expect to have more of these same uh, in the last, you know, for the next several days until Thanksgiving. But I'm telling you, once it's over, right? Once this damn thing is over, it's over. Okay, I don't even want to look at these things uh, after they're done. Here's the flip side, right? So we've been talking about what the hell is wrong with beta now for a long time. Again, if you look at the Dow today, the Dow is up 327 points, okay? The NDX was flat, okay? Qs were up a penny. And if you look at the names, majority of the beta names were down. They were all down. There's just something's wrong with these things. Alibaba's down. Amazon is down. Uh, Netflix is down. Uh, NVIDIA barely held on, which is amazing. Barely held on. But, you know, again, Apple is down. Th these things, not only are they not even participating now to the upside, now they're starting to break down to the downside. And if you look at the value to tomorrow, and of course, look, there's definitely some plays 
I liked it alongside that have nothing to do with beta, right? Like the, a lot of these smaller names. But boy, oh boy, I mean, look at Apple. First close below the 50-day moving average. Look at Netflix, right? First close below the 50-day moving average. The graces of God. And I traded, and I traded NVIDIA today. First close below this area. I only had a cash flow trade on this thing. We'll talk about the pivots in a second. But look how, again, look how close this thing is really set to break down. So very, very odd tape. Um, huge disconnect, right? Again, Facebook got killed as well. Got, you know, got re-acclimated re with the 50-day moving average. But there's something very, very odd that's going on uh, in the tech space. There's obviously some sort of buyer strike. Again, maybe everybody's just trading these EV energy slash Bitcoin stocks. Who the hell knows, right? But, but there's something very, very uh, odd in the water uh, with what's going on right now. And again, if there is going to be a rotation to these things eventually, well, great. You know, we're, we're, we're ready to go. But the one thing, again, the continu continuously aspect that we are seeing in this market is you are getting one or two of these beta trades a day. You are, okay? We've been ro we've been talking about the rotation uh, every single day. One day it's Roku, and the Roku continues to be very, very strong. The next day is Tesla. How awesome was Tesla today? Everybody give yourself a round of applause. Phenomenal moves. Every macro area uh, got confirmed today, which is amazing. And if you saw the option flow today, it was just nuts. Uh, as far as I saw, just on... Just on Flow Algo, there was at least $30 million worth of premium. I think somebody told me on Cheddar, which is another uh, option scanner, there was over $50 million uh, worth of money flow on Tesla. So just craziness going on, okay? Craziness going on. Tesla broke out in a major, major way. But again, it's literally one beta name a day and a lot, right? An, an absolute a lot. Uh, of these stocks uh, that have nothing to do with beta, just pure speculation and some aggressive, uh, phenomenal aggressive money flow. So again, I think probably it continues. But again, my main, uh, my main watches tomorrow are going to be these beta names. To to you know, if they do get stuffed into supply, I mean, again, look at these charts, right? I mean, look at Netflix, right? Look, look at this chart on Netflix, right? Look at look at Apple. Like, right, again, if they can't rally, it's, it's, it's common sense. Whatever doesn't go up in a hot market must go, right? So, it, it, again, we're definitely watching these names for tomorrow. Um, we're definitely still paying attention to the smaller names as well. But, again, the bread and butter is where the bread and butter it lies. So it's very, very important uh, to understand that. So let's talk about today's session. Um, again, amazing, really good stuff. I mean, really, really good stuff. Again, uh, NBAC. Which I'm probably gonna, I'm like, I'm literally watching. If you see my eyes, I'm literally going back and forth. I'm watching this NBAC. If this thing starts getting over 12, uh, if this thing starts getting over 12 after hours, I gotta make my, my last sale. But uh, uh, unbelievable, unbelievable move there. Uh, and they just started going one by one. Um, these are the two macro levels we talked about. Uh, we talked about on Tesla. 503 was last Friday's highs. Uh, 510 would have confirmed that whole move from the previous day. Remember, guys. These funds, index funds, they, they need to be long Tesla, right? They need to be long the stock uh, ahead of the inclusion. So that's why you're getting this massive, massive short squeeze. We talked about this on the video as well on the weekend. So here was the 503, the initial confirmation, right? 503, it took out the 509 and just absolutely exploded, exploded went up to uh, 527. Uh, this thing needs to be bought on dips. Uh, any move back into rising support until the inclusion needs to be bought on 60 minute channels uh, obviously red to green for experienced traders or obviously uh, confirmation of channels of the previous day so for example this whole channel tomorrow needs to be confirmed for a possible move and this band will rise tomorrow probably to the 540 area if you look at the daily chart um, you know, again, you have room 550. I mean, you know, this is your measure potential 550, 568. So there's a lot of really aggressive call buying. Uh, we saw the 600s today. We saw the 620s, the 630s, short term expiration. So again, you know, Tesla is doing a phenomenal job. Uh, definitely the trade of the day uh, for me today. Uh, Nvidia. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm very puzzled by this. So I, I got short. We, and we talked about this on the, on the nightly video. So I got short on this 522 breakdown. And, you know, it wasn't rallying, but it wasn't going lower. So it went down like a dollar and change. I, like I always, and again, here's the whole channel here. So I always take cash flow on the way down just because, again, nothing's guaranteed. So I took some off like a dollar and change, okay? Um, and then next thing you know, next thing you know, um, it just stalls out. The futures start rallying and yada, yada, yada. 
I, I break even on the balance and then it goes up another two, three dollars. So I'm still watching this thing. You, you could tell it's still very, very weak, but I am watching this thing. But again, cash flow trade, nothing more there. Uh, Peloton 113 needs to build. Uh, put up, you know, put up, you know, put up about a buck. You know, it wasn't a big move. I still like, um, I still like Peloton for tomorrow. Uh, ZM never got up here. Uh, Sumo, nice little move on Sumo. They had some COVID news. Uh, 2150 needs to build. Here was Sumo, right? Here was Sumo. The initial move on Sumo uh, went to like 22 and change. Nothing big. And then it started selling off towards the end. Uh, TTD never never got close to 850. Uh, crowd only put up, you know, Crowd only put up, um, I think a 50, 60 cent move. Netflix, again, uh, I like this thing to the short side tomorrow if it confirms. Uh, Amazon, they were coming for the 3,200 weekly calls, but nothing. I mean, nothing uh, Nothing even came to conclo close to confirming. Uh, space, nice, not a big move. Uh, 2480, 25 needs to build. Uh, here was space, right? Here was space, uh, put up a move to like 2540. Not a big move, but again, um, you know, not everything could be a big move here. And again, I kept on saying, look, they're coming for the 600 and the 630 uh, December calls. And again, they're not, they weren't just coming for the calls, you know, 50,000, 100,000. They were coming for five, six million dollars worth of premium at one shot. So again, Tesla is an absolute rocket ship. Um, Boeing, big move on Boeing. Congratulations for you guys who caught Boeing. Uh, any close over 209.50, super bullish. Here's Boeing. Uh, took out the 209.50, traded all the way up to 214 and change. If it confirms 215, you can see how much room it has all the way to the 222.23 uh, level. So keep an eye on that as well. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, you know, look, the, the market is ridiculously hot right now. But guys, I just want everybody to understand this type of environment is very, very, um, it's very secular, okay? It, it, it's not going to be around, you know, for the duration of, 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 of your career. And especially if this is your thing, and again, this is really not my thing. I'm just kind of participating on the cold tales of how hot this market is. But if this is your thing, you really need to advantage. You need to take an advantage and take advantage at right levels. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is when the market kind of restructures and then everything is going to go back to normal, okay? The last thing you're going to do is kick yourself because you really didn't participate. Now, again, if this is not your market and you, this is just strictly, um, you know, subsidized income while, like, for example, like beta gets back to normal, that's a whole different conversation. But again, if this is your, your cup of tea, your sweet spot, I hope you guys are doing really, really well with these plays. And the moral of the story is, again, they're hot, but they're hot right now. Believe me, once the musical chairs stop, you want to make sure you have one. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Love you all, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.